in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh my Jesus, today Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day for all the intentions of your sacred heart in union with all the masses throughout the world in reparation for sin, for the intentions of my family and friends, for the Holy Father, the Church, and the souls in purgatory. Thank you, Lord, for all your gifts and blessings. Please keep us safe today in your love and grace, to the intercession of our Blessed Mother Mary, and all the angels and saints. Amen. Amen. Because the son you were chosen to bear Alleluia. has risen as he said. Alleluia. Pray for us to God. Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary. Alleluia. Because the Lord is truly risen. Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, God who by the, the resurrection of your son, our, our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ granted granted joy to the whole world, granted and beseech you, you that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may enjoy the happiness of eternal life through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Page 587, verses 1 and 4. O God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Sing with all the sons of glory, sing the resurrection song. Death and sorrow words dark story to the former days belong. All around the clouds are breaking, soon the storms of time shall cease. In God's likeness man awaking, no see everlasting peace. Life eternal, oh what wonders, crowd on faith, what joy unknown. When amid earth's closing thunders, saints shall stand before the throne. O oh, to enter that bright portal, see that glowing firmament. Know it then, O oh God immortal, Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. Psalms begin on page 171, Friday, week 2, morning prayer, 171. <coughs> Have courage, my son. Your sins are forgiven. Alleluia. <coughs> Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your <coughs> compassion, blot out my offense. Oh, wash me more and more from my guilt and <coughs> cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned. What is evil in your sight, I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O see, in guilt I was born, <coughs> a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart. Then in the secret of my heart, teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. 
Make me here rejoicing in gladness that the bones you have trod may revive. For my sins turn away your face and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O oh, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humble, contrite heart, you will not spurn. In your goodness, show favor to Zion. Reveal the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to the, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now. now and will, will be, be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Father, he who knew no sin was made sin for us, to save us and restore us to your friendship. Look upon our contrite heart and afflicted spirit, and heal our troubled conscience, so that in the joy and strength of the Holy Spirit we may proclaim your praise and glory before all the nations. You go forth to save your people, to save your anointed one. Alleluia. <coughs> o Lord, I have heard your renown, and feared, O Lord, your work. In the course of the years, revive it. In the course of the years, make it known. In your wrath, remember compassion. God comes from Taman, the Holy One from Mount Paran. Covered are the heavens with his glory, and with his praise the earth is filled. His splendor spreads like the light. Rays shine forth from beside him. Where his power is concealed, you comfort to save your people, to save your anointed one. You tread the sea with your steeds amid the churning of the deep waters. I hear and my body trembles at the sound, my lips quiver. Decay invades my bones. My legs tremble beneath me. I await the day of distress that will come upon the people who attack us. For though the fig tree blossom not, nor fruit beyond the vines, though the yield of the olive fail, and the terraces produce no nourishment, though the flocks disappear from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls, yet will I rejoice in the Lord, and exult in my saving God. God, my Lord, is my strength. He makes my feet swift as those of hinds, and enables me to go up on the heights. Glory to, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the, to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem. Zion, give praise to you, God. He has brought peace to your borders. Alleluia. O oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. <clears throat> he has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters hoarfrost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word, and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth, the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob. To Israel, his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. <coughs> he has not taught them his decrees. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and, and to, to the, the Son, and, and to, to the, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. As, As it, it was, was in the, the beginning, beginning, is now, and, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Lord, you establish peace within the borders of Jerusalem. Give the fullness of peace 
now to your faithful people. May peace rule us in this life and possess us in eternal life. You are about to fill us with the best of wheat. Grant that what we see dimly now, as in a mirror, we may come to perceive clearly in the brightness of your truth. We turn to page 482. 482. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus, though you had him killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to grant Israel repentance and forgiveness of sins. We are witnesses of these things, as is the Holy Spirit that God has given to those who obey him. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. He hung upon the cross for us. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. My commandment is this. Love one another as I have loved you. Alleluia. Blessed, Blessed be, the, be Lord, the Lord, the God, God of Israel. Israel. He, he has come, come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine in those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray to God the Father, who gave us new life to the risen Christ. Give us the glory of your Son. Give us the glory of your Son. Lord our God, your mighty works have revealed your eternal plan. You created the earth and you are faithful in every generation. Hear us, Father of mercy. Give us the glory of your Son. Purify our hearts with your truth and guide them in the way of holiness so that we may do what is pleasing in your sight. Give us the glory of your Son. Let your face shine upon us, that we may be freed from sin and filled with your plenty. Give us the glory of your Son. You gave the apostles the peace of Christ. Grant peace to your people and to the whole world. Give us the glory of your Son. And we pray for our intention. for your intentions, for your family and friends, for our family of St. James the Great, of St. Martin of Tours, of our Filipino apostolate, for the congregation of the Bethany Sisters, for those who celebrate their birthdays and anniversaries this month of April, <coughs> for our sick brothers and sisters, especially Chis and Boto Campo, Rumer, Sean, and Monty, Chato, Philip Reyes, Tito Tanco, Roy Olson, Bapa Iner, Doy Pladevega and Ernesto Aquino, Lori Jackson, Virgilio Toralba, Ethan Carlito, Benjamin, Angela De Vera. For those in our homebound nursing homes and hospitals, we pray to the Lord. Give us the glory of your Son. An eternal rest grant unto Father Gas Puleo, who will be buried today. Father Paul Quinter, Father Murray, Rita Young Lockett, Isabella Argosa, Pasita Ponciano, 
Nicolás and Severina Bongo, Dionisio Marnilego, Carmencita Sayo, Jimmy Quiero, Danny Biloya, Wilfredo Reyes, Timothy Quadra, Candelaria Costello, Frank Marciano, Steven Siminski, Edward Magadi, Frank Logue, Simon Cantos, Gigi Suntao. For all our deceased relatives and friends, and those souls in purgatory, we pray to the Lord. Give us the glory of your Son. And gathering our prayer and praises into one, together we say, Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Eternal Father, you gave us the Easter mystery as our covenant of reconciliation. May the new birth we celebrate show its effects in the way we live. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For 
Let us pray. O greatly merciful God, infinite goodness, today all mankind calls out from the abyss of its misery to your mercy, to your compassion, O God. And it is with its mighty voice of misery that it cries out, Gracious God, do not reject the prayer of this earth's exile. O Lord, goodness be on our understanding, who are acquainted with our misery through and through. And know that by our own power, we cannot ascend to you. We implore you, anticipate us with your grace, and keep on increasing your mercy in us, that we may faithfully do your holy will, all through our life and at that hour. Let the omnipotence of your mercy shield us from the darts of our salvation's enemies, that we may with confidence as your children await your final coming, that they known to you alone, and we expect to obtain everything promised us by Jesus, in spite of all our wretchedness. For Jesus is our hope. Through his merciful heart, as through an open gate, we pass through to heaven. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you.
soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Separated from you, let me never be. From the evil one, protect me. At the hour of my death, call me. And close to you, bid me. That with you, your saints and angels, I may be praising you forever and ever. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do the well friends of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl into the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Number 1005. 1005. We remember and we will be singing verses 1 and 5 and 6. 5 and 6. We remember how you loved us to your death. And still we celebrate for you are with us here. And we believe that we will see you when you come in your glory, Lord. We remember, we celebrate, we believe. Here a million wounded souls are yearning just to touch you and be healed. Gather all your people and hold them to your heart. We remember how you loved us to your death. And still we celebrate for you are with us here. And we believe that we will see you when you come in your glory, Lord. We remember, we celebrate, we believe. Now we recreate your love. We bring the bread and wine to share a meal. Sign of grace and mercy, the presence of the Lord. We remember how you loved us to your death. And still we celebrate, for you are with us here. And we believe that we will see you when you come in your glory, Lord. We remember, we celebrate, we believe. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, grace, mercy, love, and healing of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do to my fault to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, 
forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. And we offer our intentions to our loving God. For your intentions, for your family and friends, for our family of St. James parishioners, and for the eternal repose of Father Gaspoleo, who will be buried today. O God, hope and light of the sincere, we humbly entreat you to dispose our hearts to offer you worthy prayer and ever to extol you by dutiful proclamation of your praise. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. A Pharisee in the Sanhedrin named Gamaliel, a teacher of the law, respected by all the people, stood up, ordered the apostles to be put outside for a short time, and said to the Sanhedrin, Fellow children of Israel, be careful what you are about to do to these men. Some time ago, Theudas appeared, claiming to be someone important, and about 400 men joined him, but he was killed, and all those who were loyal to him were disbanded and came to nothing. <clears throat> After him came Judas the Galilean at the time of the census. He also drew people after him, but he too perished, and all were loyal, and all who were loyal to him were scattered. So now I tell you, have nothing to do with these men and let them go. For if this endeavor or this activity is of human origin, it will destroy itself. But if it comes from God, you will not be able to destroy them. You may even find yourselves fighting against God. They were persuaded by him. After recalling the apostles, they had them flogged, ordered them to stop speaking in the name of Jesus, and dismissed them. So they left the presence of the Sanhedrin, rejoicing that they had been found worthy to suffer dishonor for the sake of the name. And all day long, both at the temple and in their homes, they did not stop teaching and proclaiming the Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. One thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. One thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? One thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I say to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia.
Alleluia. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus went across the Sea of Galilee. A large crowd followed him because they saw the signs he was performing on the sick. Jesus went up on the mountain, and there he sat down with his disciples. The Jewish feast of Passover was near. When Jesus raised his eyes and saw that a large crowd was coming to him, he said to Philip, where can we buy enough food for them to eat? He said this to test him, because he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, Two hundred days' wages worth of food would not be enough for each of them to have a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, said to him, there is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish. But what good are these for so many? Jesus said, Have the people reclined. Now there was a great deal of grass in that place. So the men reclined, about five thousand in number. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed them to those who were reclining and also as much of the fish as they wanted. When they had had their fill, he said to his disciples, Gather the fragments left over, so that nothing will be wasted. So they collected them and filled twelve wicker baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves that had been more than they could eat. When the people saw the sign he had done, they said, This is truly the prophet, the one who is to come into the world. Since Jesus knew that they were going to come and carry him off to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain alone. The Gospel of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Good morning. Are you a proud Catholic? Amen. And, you know, time immemorial, many people want to destroy our Catholic Church. But it happened? Of course not. And in this particular first reading from the Acts of the Apostles, if it comes from God, you will not be able to destroy them. You may even find yourselves fighting against God. Whenever we ask, who established the Catholic Church? Who is the founder? Of course, Jesus Christ. But if you will ask other religion, who is their founder? Do they respond, Jesus Christ? No. So be proud to be Catholic. For we have one holy Catholic and apostolic church that Jesus himself established. So that we may all have one mind and one heart in following the will of the Father. It is his prayer that all of us must be one. We pray for all our brothers and sisters who are not in our Catholic faith that one day we will 
able to have that prayer answered by Jesus. In our gospel today, the miracle of the multiplication of bread and fish. And it happens whenever we believe and have faith in our Lord. And it's happening now here once again at St. James the Great. Having one mind and one heart, look, the Lord has blessed us. Grace upon grace upon grace. This coming spring, well, this spring uh, season, we will be having the rope chains in our school that we never expect that it will happen. And we still have now money in our bank because of the generosity of you people who are here at St. James. May we continue to have one mind and one heart and always believe and trust in the power and mercy of our loving God. He started this parish and he will continue to complete this parish. But believe and trust in him. May Mary, our mother, St. James the Great, our patron saint, and all holy men and women pray for us. And Jesus, I trust in you. Sisters and brothers, let us present our needs to God, whose love for us is everlasting. God of abundant love, hear our prayer. God, God of, of abundant, abundant love, hear our, our prayer. For the church, may the Lord continue to guide her in proclaiming his love through their daily lives. Let us pray to the Lord. God of abundant love, hear our prayer. For leaders throughout the world, may the wisdom of God lead them to act justly with the needs of the most vulner vulnerable in mind. Let us pray to the Lord. God of abundant love, hear our prayer. For those who cannot practice their faith openly, may they be upheld and strengthened through the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. God of abundant love, hear our prayer. For all in our community who are struggling with ill health or injury, may the Lord bring them healing. Let us pray to the Lord. God of abundant love, hear our prayer. For all who have died in the light of faith, may they come to share in the baptismal promise of new life. Let us pray to the Lord. God of abundant love, hear our prayer. For the petitions we hold in the silence of our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. God of abundant love, hear our prayer. For all the parishioners here at St. James, for the eternal repose of Father Gaspoleo, we pray to the Lord. God of abundant love, hear our prayer. And together we say, My, My adorable, adorable Jesus, Jesus may, may our feet journey together, together. May, may our hands gather in unity. unity. May, may our hearts be in unison. unison. May, may our souls be in harmony. May our thoughts be as one. May our ears listen to the silence together. May our, may our glances, glances profoundly penetrate each other. other. May our lips pray together to gain mercy from the eternal Father. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Accept compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care, they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, through him the children of light rise to eternal life. And the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death. And in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Sana in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like to do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, especially Father Gas Puleo, Father Paul Quinter, Father Murray, Carmencita Sayo, Rita Young Lockett, Wilfredo Reyes, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be chorus to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you, to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus, our brother, taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Number 966 in our music book. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordia, Vita dulce do, ex fes nostra salve. A te clamamus, ex ules filii A te suspiramus, gementes et lentes, in ac lacrimarum valie. Ea ergo, advocata nostra, illustuhus, misericordies oculus, ad nos converte. Et Jesum, benedictum fructus ventris tui, nobis, Os hoc exilium ostende, O clement, O clement,